guys, happy bank holiday Monday and welcome to day 14 of 20 days to plan. Just work, it's plan a week, it's Monday of plan a week, we've got lots of prep to do and we're going to be bringing you a video later in the week to show you the whole planner and show you why it's the best planner in the world. For today's video, it's going to be quite a short and sweet one and we're going to be talking about things you are going to need for your A-levels. A bit of an A-level checklist just to get those of you who started in September prepped and planned and ready. Refer back to yesterday's video for the differences between GCSEs and A-levels and how to prepare for those. During this video, I'm going to be talking about a few of the things that relate to that video. So if you haven't checked that one out yet already, go check that one out. So I've split this checklist into stationery and academic material. In terms of stationery, I would say paper and pens are pretty essential. In terms of note taking, I like to use pen and paper. And what I do is just buy the refill pads, the massive ones of lined paper that you could then put into folders. Another thing in terms of note taking is you might want a laptop or you rather than just plain paper, you might want an actual book that you can keep all your notes in one place. So again, it does depend on your note taking style, but some note taking equipment is essential for the A-levels. Related to that, I bought ring binders for each subject. So I like to organize my notes into folders. So a big ring binder for each subject and dividers so that we could split the subjects by specification, I found really beneficial in terms of note taking. So if that sounds like how you're gonna take your notes, then ring binders or folders are brilliant for your A-levels. Dependent on your subject, you may need pencil, ruler, scientific calculator. If you're doing a maths or a science subject, a scientific calculator is pretty essential. I would say the best one out there is a Casio scientific calculator. That saw me through all of my GCSEs all of my A-levels, all of my university. So yeah, invest in a really good calculator and make sure it's one that's really easy to use. And like I say, from experience, the Casio is really, really easy to use. Revision material is essential for your A-levels well. It's super, super key to start revision as early as possible. So whatever you do to revise, whichever method you use to revise best, buy the material for that. Is it flashcards? Is it plain paper? Is it felted pens? Is it highlighters? Think about how you revise. Think about how you revise in your GCSEs. Did that work? Are we gonna do that again? Are we gonna switch it up a little bit? And buy the equipment that you need to carry out that revision. The last thing in terms of stationery that I would say is necessary and key to success in our A-levels is a planner. Shock and cheeky plug, but honestly, a planner is super, super key to staying organised, staying on top of your tasks, staying on top of your work. And I could highly, highly, highly recommend the Just Work Academic Planner that is out at 10 a.m. GMT this Saturday, the 31st of August. So set a timer on your phone and be ready for that. So that's the stationary side of things. When we're thinking about academic material, I would say textbooks is a pretty important one. Often your school might provide you with a textbook. So before you go out and buy textbooks for quite a lot of money, see if you're provided one by your school. But I used textbooks completely throughout my A-levels and found them really beneficial. You can often find some cheap ones online or secondhand ones on eBay and things like that. But like I say, speak to your school first and see if there's anything they can provide before you start dishing out your money for textbooks. Another piece of academic material I would say is pretty necessary necessary is a specification for your subject and your exam board so find out which exam board you're doing and print the specification this just keeps you on track with everything you need to know for that subject and you can tick it off as you go along and you learn it in your lessons but if you've got that specification all in one place it's really good to refer back to and the last thing is access to past paper questions. You can often find these on exam board websites. If not, or if you want specific questions on a specific subject, Google them. Yeah, you can find all sorts on Google. If you're struggling a little bit, feel free to drop me a message because I am like a whiz with finding past exam paper questions because I did so many when I did my A-level. So yeah, pop me a message if you're struggling with that. 
But in terms of academic material, I said those are the key things I'd say. Printed specification, access to past paper questions, and a textbook of some sort. So yeah, I said it was short and sweet video today. That's everything I think we will probably require for our A-levels. I hope this has been insightful and I hope that you have a great week. It's Monday, we've got goals to smash, we've got things to hit. It's probably the last week of freedom for a lot of you, so enjoy it. Go and have some fun and get our head sorted and clear, ready to smash it and go back next week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you tomorrow for day 15 of 20 Days to Plan. See you later, keep smashing it, and remember, anything is possible if you just work. Bye!